was weird, yeah. huh? The way they kept opening everything, closets, cabinets. Ooh. Well, it's an open house. <laughs> yeah, but it's still nervy. People walking through, strolling through, opening all my closets and stuff. That's what you gotta do to sell a house. Well, lucky for me, I'll never own a house then. <laughs> What's this? Torque? Yeah. Is it good? Oh, yeah, it's good. So are we done here? Um, no, another 15 minutes. We're supposed to go till 4. Did you get anything good? Um, not really. No serious fires, anyway. Maybe the German, though. Who knows? Is that what it was? German? I couldn't place his accent. I thought maybe Irish. Irish? I couldn't tell. You know, I think we need a broker. I think a lot of people are afraid of Fizbo's. Afraid of who? Well, Fizbo. For sale by owner. No middleman. I was trying to avoid the commission, but you probably need it. This was a wash, I think. You know, I thought we had a hit with that family with the little girl. Nothing, though. Maybe I priced it too high, or maybe they were just browsing. You freaked him out, Howie. No, I didn't. <laughs> what are you talking about? Everyone that went in there was like, Oh, you have a son. You know Danny's room? Should have fixed it up. Maybe the guest room or something. What, why? Well, everyone asked, oh, you have a son. How old is he? Um, and then you tell them, and... I didn't really think about it. I just thought it'd be nice for them to see that there was a room for a kid. Well, common sense, Howie. You got these robot sheets in the bed. The question's going to come up. And then you tell them, and... There's this weirdness in the air. Well, only two people asked. Yeah, but you oogged him out. <laughs> Would you want to move into a house where a kid just died? I mean, come on. People believe in that shit. House karma, whatever it is. Oh, well, they're stupid, man. Yeah, they are. But you gotta take that into consideration if you're trying to sell your house. Can't believe I'm giving you business advice. <laughs> is that what this is? Still, you just have to sort out what is and isn't appropriate to say to people. Well, it's not appropriate to talk about my son. Uh-uh. I am not getting into this conversation. If you want to tell everybody about Danny and how he died, that's your decision. God knows how you love doing it. But don't be surprised if nobody wants to buy your house. God, Becca's got to stop aching. I'm trying to warn this. Is someone coming? No, oh, he's just mad he's still tied up. So, um... Let me ask you something. All right. Is Becca mad at me? What? No, Becca's not mad at you. Why does she act so pissed at me all the time? Well, I don't know. You should ask her. I can't. Why not? Because that'll only make her more pissed. Yeah, probably, but I still want to show Does she blame me? Or something? Oh, Izzy. I mean... If I never would have called a bitch about mom, and she never would have came Ten out. Ten months later, and you're asking me this? I don't know. No, is no. Nobody blames you. Okay. So it's just the baby then. The fact that I'm having a baby. You know, I, I don't think Becca's mood has anything to do with you. She thinks I can't do it, right? She thinks I won't be a good mother. She doesn't think that. You, you should really be having this conversation with her. Okay. I know I'm gonna fuck up Howie, but people get their shit together. Of course they do. And I know do. I'm not as organized or as Becca or homie. Nobody's comparing you. Really? Because that'd be a first. Everybody's excited about the baby is, okay? You just need to understand that there's other stuff going on around here. I'm not talking about the other stuff going on around here. I'm talking about me being a capable person who can take care of a child and raise it and, and protect it or whatever. And I resent the feeling I get from you and her too, honestly that I don't deserve this baby, or that I'm not smart enough or mature enough to take care of it. I mean, if my mother can do it, how hard can it be? You'd be surprised. That's not what I... All I'm saying is that I want to feel like you guys have some faith in me, because I'm up to it. Good. I hope you are. How do you hope? Thanks, Howie. <laughs> I don't know where you want this conversation to go, and honestly, I don't know why you're having it with me. <sighs> Fuck it, nobody's coming. Are you mad? No. You seem mad. 
I'm just getting a beer. You want one? No, I don't want a beer. God. <laughs> Let me ask you something else. What, you have a list? Things got to ask Howie when he's cornered? No, not a list. What is it then? Do you know my friend Rima? Is this the question? No, this is the prologue. You know how some books have prologues? Familiar with the concept. That's Rima. Do you know her? Not really. I brought her to that barbecue a couple years ago. Curly hair, kind of chubby. Okay, I'll take your word for it. Well, Rima works at Calderon's in New Rochelle. Do you know that restaurant? Yeah. Well, Rima said she waited on you a couple weeks ago. Did I stiff her on the tip? Because had I remembered her, obviously I she would have She said given... you were with a woman. I was with a parent from the support group right. two weeks ago, right? You know, grabbed a bite to eat after the meeting. <laughs> you know, had Rima identified herself, I would have introduced them. Her husband doesn't attend the meetings. Is this still part of the prologue? Why were you holding hands? Rima said you were holding hands. Rima's what exactly? Your spy? No, she's a waitress. She was just doing her job. You were the one sneaking around. <laughs> okay, now I am mad. I told you you weren't going to like That me. woman is a friend of mine whose daughter died of leukemia six months ago. Jesus, Izzy, what are you implying? I was just asking a question. Well, just because I was holding a woman's hand doesn't mean that I was I was Look, you know, fooling around. I know you and Becca are having some problems. What are you talking about? But I would like about? to think that you would be man enough, if things became unsavable, to fish what? or cut bait. Who, who said we were having And not problems? make things worse by fucking around behind Becca's back! <laughs> you are way off base, Izzy. And I know there's other stuff going on around here, but that does not excuse it. <laughs> this is so ridiculous, I don't know how to respond to you. I don't need you to respond. I just had to say what I had to say. You can do whatever you want about it. About what? I, I, I'm not having an affair. Great. I, well, I was comforting a friend. Glad to hear it. You know, and I, I don't know where this Rima person gets off making these assumptions about me. She'll be happy to hear it. Oh, especially after your whole, your whole spiel about us not having faith in you. Jeez, what do you think of me? She's my sister. I had to ask. Well, you've asked. Indeed, I have. I'll tell you one thing, though. If I ever see this Rima person again, I'm going to tell her exactly what I think about her talking shit about me. You should. She'll like that. I think I want more milk. Oh. You know, for the record, hope I did stiff her on the tip. Yeah, well, for the record, you did. Well, luckily, she read about this in the papers. Of course she did. So when I explained it, she realized who you were. You should have given her a phone number and had her with her cocktail. She was she just trying to help. Well, I don't need you chasing after me cleaning up my messes. That's what I was doing. Or apologizing for me. That's not what I was doing. Did something happen to did you get my message about the olive oil? No, I should have. I had to on. do something. Why? Because you kept calling me. I wanted olive oil. If I didn't do something, she would have called the cops. She's oh, cops call where? You don't know that. What happened? Nothing. We just had a little scene, that's all. Here, I'll take care of this. What? How did we do here? Scene? What? It looks a little light. I don't know. A scene? What, what, what kind of scene? In the supermarket. You and Mom? No, I was not involved. It's so stupid. What happened? This is why I hate shopping. Everything in there is like, oh, hey, string cheese. Danny likes string cheese. Oh, look, fruit roll-ups. Danny loves fruit roll-ups. Everything, Howie, you have got to do some of the food shopping. I am sick of saying it. Becca got a little upset. About what? There was a boy there. You reminded you of Danny? No. Maybe a little, but not, not really. He had red hair. What happened was we were in the same aisle as this boy, and he wanted these roll-ups, fruit roll-ups, but his mom was being a hard ass about it and wouldn't let him have it. Well, and it's not as if she couldn't afford it, because you could tell she had money. And he was getting whiny about it, which is understandable because he's five years old and he really wants to go up. But she 
she would have been instead she just ignores him, turns away, shuts him out completely, and goes out for shopping. And that pissed me off for some reason. What did? The way she was ignoring him instead of trying to explain to him why he couldn't have got them. So she walked over to him. What? Why? <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I just did. What did you say to her? I said. It's only three bucks. Why don't you just let him? Why don't you just get him the fucking roll-ups? <laughs> and she looked a little miffed at first and smiled. I don't know why. And tried to explain to me that she didn't want her son to be candy. And I told her fruit roll-ups aren't actually candy. In fact, they're relatively healthy, made with real fruit. And she told me to mind my own business. And she tried to walk away and move her car around me, but she ran over my foot, so I smacked her. <laughs> what? She did. I smacked her. She smacked her. I couldn't believe it. Good God. Really hard, too. I, I know. <laughs> it's awful, but she wouldn't stop pointing, and I just, she really pissed me off for some reason. You hit that woman? Is he? Don't. <laughs> startled and then mom told me to go out to the car which I did not need her to do. All I did was explain everything to her and she was mad at first but after I explained it she understood. No she didn't. After I talked with her I'm saying. Still she didn't understand. I'm sure you made it sound like I was just some sort of crazy unstable person. <laughs> but you did slap her back she up. She was lucky that was all I did. Like it helped. Like she suddenly realized. I mean, fruit roll-ups. Let him have it. Am I wrong? No. I had a smack or two. Yeah, well, obviously. <laughs> I was doing so good, wasn't I, Howie? I had a bunch of good days in a row. You know what, Beck? You can come shopping with me. Whenever you want. I'm gonna give my kid whatever he wants. Candy, you name it. That's not my point, Izzy. I know. You're saying be with him. She wasn't like appreciating him or whatever. I get it. I totally understand. And if you ever see me doing what she did, smack me too, okay? Okay. <laughs> Maybe you taught that lady something. Yeah, I don't think so. Hey, Mom. Did they have any Bosco? Yeah, right here. Yeah, let's crack that bad boy open. What? Nothing. Have I shocked you? No. Not shocked, no. Well, you look shocked. Do I? Or something. Could you quiet him down, please, Howie? Hello? Um, hi. I saw the sign outside. So, the open house sign, and the door was open. You looking to buy a house? No. Howie. What? So you saw the sign? I just wanted to say hey. Tad, shut up! So you know who I am, right? Yeah, we know. So since the sign was out there, I thought it'd be okay if I just poked my head in. I've been wanting to say hello for a while. Now it's not a very good time. Oh. Okay. We have relatives visiting. Right. I just wanted to say hey. Didn't want to bother you or anything. Just say hello in person. But maybe another time? Yeah, it's just that we have relatives here. Right. So... Hi. Hello. Hi. Another time then. Yeah, we're Becca. we're around Becca. sometimes. I'm available any afternoon, really, if there's a day that works better for you. It's just that we're selling our house right now, which takes a big chunks of our time. It wouldn't take long. I'd just like to sit down with you at some point. Still. 
really like to arrange something if that's at all possible. And I just told you now it's not a very good time. No, I know, but I wasn't talking about it right now. Good. So why don't you take off then? Okay. For free in the future, we'll do something then. Well, I wrote my number down, so if you free up at all. Can I just say something oh, to you? Yeah. An open house sign doesn't mean that we're holding walk-in tours here, okay? You can't just barge into someone's house. We were conducting business here. That's why I waited until that last couple left. It looked like things were finished here. Well, they're not! Then I apologize. We live here, okay? This is our home. All right, you don't just no, barge into someone's home like that, especially given the circumstances. You should show a little respect. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I interrupted. Sorry. That? What was that kid walking in here? I think I'll just put these things on. What was he doing? I'm not a tree in it. I wonder Taz was barking. Or maybe he was barking because he's hungry. Did you remember to feed him? No, I got no. caught with it. Of course not. You wanted that dog so badly, but you could never remember to feed him. I'll do it. It's nice to know things are getting back to normal around here. The last thing she needed. Kid showing up. I don't know. She seemed okay. You were the one that got upset. Well, I'm not the one going around slapping people. You got pretty close just then. Listen, I'm available next week if you want to do this again. Another open house. Maybe. You really Let's should see. do something about that room, though. I'll do just some renovation work on the side. Can I have him go in there? Oh no. He does good work. He put up my mother's drywall. I think we have it covered. Alright. Still, you really should fix things up a little bit. The room, I mean. Yeah, I know what you meant. 